Hey YouTube, so I have an LG direct drive. Looks like a WM2301HR washer here. Gonna be changing the back inlet valves. Uh, the hot and cold were leaking on me and they were pretty corroded. So gonna show the step for step. So I really only need some basic tools for this job. I got a pair of vice grips right here. I'm gonna use that for taking off the hoses and the different clips on there. And then here's just a Phillips uh, screwdriver for the different screws. First step is to disconnect the power to the washer, and then you're gonna wanna turn off the hot water and the cold water. So here's the two inlet hoses. Um, I already replaced the cold water side, so I'll show that later, but we're gonna replace in the hot water right here. So first step we're gonna wanna take to get to that is taking off this lid. There's two screws that we're gonna need to take out with the Phillips uh, screwdriver. So I'm gonna show you that. So once you get that second screw up, you're just gonna wanna like this, pull out, and then up. And here's the two hoses that we're gonna need to be getting to. So there's the first cold water one that I already replaced. Um, and then here's the hot water one. Um, I took it out, sanded it down. This uh, piece is still kind of working, but uh, gonna need to replace it. I obviously put it in backwards as you can see. So just gonna need to take these screws out here with the Phillips screwdriver. So here's the new hot water inlet valve that we're gonna be uh, replacing. Um, brand new. And then I'll show you, here's the old cold water valve that I replaced before this. As you can see, it's just completely roached on the on the threads. Uh, lots of corrode and sun damage to it, so definitely needed to get replaced. It was leaking everywhere. Um, so first thing we're going to want to do is remove this clip right here. So this is where the vice grips come in. Uh, I'm just going to want to take these guys and put them right on there. Boom. And then just work it off. And let it go. And then we can just wiggle this little hose right off. And then just the last little red clip down here. We gotta take out and just pulls right out. So, and then we just got these screws, one, two. So Phillips screwdriver, take these out. All right, so we're gonna wanna remove the hot water hose as well. So use two hands because I have it on there pretty, pretty tight but it should just come right loose. And there we go. Okay, so take that off. And then let's take the two screws out to take this old valve out and put the new one in. So as you can see, here's the old hot water valve. Um, it's not as bad as the cold water, but as you can see, it's still a little bit uh, corroded. Not as nice as this new brand new piece. So it was leaking a little bit. Uh, gonna take care of that with this new piece. So I'm gonna put this in the correct way this time. And so just need to just repeat the process but backwards now so I'm gonna add the two Phillips screw, screws back in and then attach the hot water and it should be good to go Okay, so one of the last steps is just to reconnect the connector here. And then we have the hot water hose we're gonna need to put back on. So just put that down here. 
and then just wiggle it back on. And then we're just gonna need to put that clip back on with the vice grips. Okay, clips on, uh, two new valves are in. So no more leaks on this washer. Now it's just time to turn the water back on. So I suggest slowly turning it on just because you don't wanna let a bunch of pressure go and just blow the valve right off. Um, so just gonna slowly let that build up and then we're gonna fully let it turn on. Yep, so no problems. Looks like there's no leaks. Perfect. Final step, just put the lid back on and you're good to go. So thanks for watching guys.